NYC What It Do. It's your girl, Miss Nick, and today I am here to share with you guys some lip combinations um, that I've come up with, or either I've seen some people on Instagram comment and say that that's the lip combination that they have used before, or they are using in some of their pictures, and I would give a shout out to those people on Instagram, but unfortunately I don't remember the names of the people, because um, <laughs> I just did like like little shots and cropped it and just where the information was or whatever but um so yeah don't really remember who uh but if i do like can go through and find out who um had these different lip combinations um i will give them credit down below so not all these combinations are combinations that i have personally thought to come up with so i just wanted to throw that out there um but yeah so we're gonna get right started into these lip combinations so y'all gonna see me looking down a little bit because I got my combinations written down on paper so that I wouldn't forget some of the combinations that I really really <laughs> fell in love with so yeah we're gonna get started and I already used my EOS balm on my lips first combination is gonna be cream cup and all of these are lip um, MAC lipsticks you guys so yeah so the first one here it's going to be, I'm going to do St. Germain. Okay, St. Germain was just like not doable for me at all by itself. But I am going to show you guys how I uh, apply St. Germain to where it is wearable for me and the lip combination that I um, am enjoying wearing it. Okay, so I'm going to use St. Germain lipstick. Okay, as y'all can tell on me, just that, and this is just my personal opinion. Um, by itself, I don't care for it. It looks like pink crack <laughs> to me. So um, what I do is play Famously Fast, which is a lip glass by Mac, and I want to say this was limited edition. Place that on top. And it turns it into this lavender color, which I am loving. And plus, I love purple anyway, so yeah. So, if you take Saint Germain in a light purple lip gloss, you should have a lavender color lippy. <laughs> I'm just gonna say y'all. And I know like this is like pal all up in y'all face. But that's just so hopefully you can get, you know, the gist of the lip color. Okay? So yeah. I love this lip combination. Love it. So I'm gonna take that off. Okay, um, and we're going to go for another lip combo here. We are going to go for Sis. Sis Lipstick by MAC, which is a satin. And, um, put my EOS Balm on here. Now, I can wear Sis. Um, I just don't wear it by itself. Um, I would wear it with, like, cork lip liner. Um, don't really have to have a lip liner with this. But I just never cared for sis by itself on my lips. So, yeah. So, this is how sis looks on my lips just by itself. Now, this is a lip combination that I came across on Instagram. Someone, um, had, had um, had this on. And what I'm going to take is, um, I usually take pink lemonade, but I don't have pink lemonade in front of me. So, what I'm going to do is take a color that I know is close, pretty close in my opinion to pink lemonade, and that is Tour de Fab by MAC. Place that on top. And 
and voila. To me, it becomes such more of a wearable lip combination just by itself. And so, yeah. There you have it. On my lips. <laughs> I'm going to wipe that off. I'm going to start making so many faces, y'all, so this video don't be extremely long. I'm just being goofy tonight, so. Don't pay me no never mind. No never mind. Um, next, um, is number 24 by Makeup Forever. I love this combination. Which is a peachy color. Or brownish orange color. And then I'm going to take Orange Tempera. Which is another lip gloss by MAC. There you have it. There we go. I love peaches and news and well, I love lippies anyway. So let me just stop lying right there. I love lippies anyways, but yeah. So this is what that combination looks like. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Did St. Germain. Trying to wait for the stuff to do the stuff that I really, really, really need a lip liner with. Uh, next is a uh, Max Cream Cup lipstick. And mine look a little funky because I dropped it. And I was trying to salvage it. Now, I can wear Cream Cup by itself. It doesn't bother me to wear it by itself. But because I'm a lipstick and lip gloss girl, I always pair mine with a lip gloss. <laughs> um, so I'm going to pair it with Frankly Fresh, which was a limited edition lippy. So just in case you don't want such a pink look, this will tone it down some. And make it more of a, a muted pink, in my opinion. Sorry, y'all, if y'all see me looking down, I'm looking in my mirror here, so. But yeah. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, so I like this. It's muted down, very doable, very wearable pink, okay? Especially if you're in a workplace where they don't want you wearing any type of loud colors. Which, I work for the government, and they say that in the rules and regulations, but yeah, I still wear it anyways. Okay? I'll take that right up. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, I think that's serious for me to take it right up, but they ain't said nothing to me so far, so I'm just going to keep doing what I do, okay? So, let me see. We've done 24. Let's see, that's going to require a lip liner. Let me see. Let me see. I'm going to take Max Salute. Place that on the lips. Now this is one of those ones that look crackish by itself on me. And I might have already did this one, y'all. If I did, I'm sorry. Hmm. 
That's what I get for not paying attention, huh? Because I showed my Devara did this one. But anywho, I think I did. But so we're going to do it again. Just because, yeah. Taking two of the fab, placing that on top. And it definitely gives it more of a peachy look on my lips. Okay. Now, like I said, if you have pink lemonade, you can use pink lemonade. Because it's very, very close in color. Um, also, you can do um, Strange Potion if you have that one, which was limited edition. But it is very close to pink lemonade and Tour de Fab. As a matter of fact, to me, Tour de Fab and Strange Potion are the exact same, exact same color. Mac was getting over on that one. So yeah, this is what this one looks like. And again, this is Salute for Tour de Fab. Okay, guys? Okay. Let me put some more EOS on these loops. Ooh, ooh, yeah. I do not want these boys cracking. Okay? Okay, so the cream cup already. The Saint Germain already. Pink popcorn. Take pink popcorn by Mac. Which I love pink popcorn by itself. Like it's doable for me by itself. So like I said, I love purples. And I know y'all, that looks so sexy. <laughs> Me doing that. Sorry. But I love this lipstick. So, pink popcorn. And then I place Snob lip glass. So, from top. And there we have it. It doesn't like really change the color, but I think it gives it more of a pinkish purple look with the snob um, lip glass over on top. What do y'all think? Do duck lips? I don't know if I've ever done duck lips in a picture, but I just thought I'd throw that out there. Yeah. Um, okay, let me take this off. Okay, y'all, we wind it down, we wind it down, alright? Alright, don't y'all, like, click off the video and stuff, because it's too long, alright? I'm hurrying. So, next, now these last ones, I think, require lip liner. Well, not this one, hold on, let me do this one. This one is the Keep It Loose Casual Color. Place that on with my finger. And y'all might hear a loud noise here in a minute because I think my family home. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to apply Frankly Fresh over on top. Okay, and this is what you get, because by itself I don't care like 100% for it, so this is the results with Frankly Fresh, very doable, very new color, alright, okay, I think we're down like to two or three more you guys. And then we'll be all done. Okay. Okay, so these do require some lip liner, okay? 
So I'm going to be taking number 22 by Makeup Forever. And this do, I'm warning you now, it looks like straight. I've been sucking down donuts or crack or something. Okay. Got that crackhead lip be going on there. So there we have it. Next I'm going to place Eurobeat, which was a limited edition. I don't know if you can get this anymore. I don't think it's part of the permanent line, but it's just a orangish coral color. I'll place that on top. Gonna soften out the outer edges. And then go in with Cork Lip Liner by Mac. And outline the outer lip. And uh, go in and do the inner corners. And then blend. Okay. And then what I'll do is take a lip jelly, which is a very, very sparkly lip jelly. And this came from a Christmas collection like a while back that I do not remember. But I dab a little bit of it here in the pout to give it that extra mm. Or that extra sparkle. Okay. So that is what this lip combo looks like, which I like a new lippy. I'm gonna take that off. Okay. Jeez. Let me see what else we have. Next is called Sweet Sunrise. And sometimes you just have to make lip products work for you. As y'all can tell. So I'm going to take Sweet Sunrise. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm lying. I'm lying already. I'm going to take NYX Lip Liner and Pumpkin, which is this orange-ish color. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to fill in my whole entire lips with it. Okay. And it's just this pumpkin orange color. Or burnt orange color. And just fill in your whole entire lip. Okay. This is what you have. Burnt orange lips. <laughs> then I'm going to take the Sweet Sunrise. And just to show y'all what I'm talking about, sometimes you just got to make it work. This is one, another one of those crackish lipsticks. It came out with one of the collections. Let me head. Mm-hmm. But I'm just going to place that all over my lip. And y'all are going to see this color change from burnt orange. Yes, it completely changes the color of this lipstick. Okay. Let 
looks more like a, I don't know, but it don't look like a pumpkin no more. <laughs> so this is what you have. Next I take that toward the fab, place that over on top. what we have and then I take cork now this is optional you might like it like this I'm gonna take cork lip lock lip yeah lip line <laughs> and outline my lips like I said totally optional still doing the corners Now, I realize everybody ain't going to do all this work just to wear a lipstick and make it work for you. I understand. Blend in. <laughs> okay. And there we have it. I like this coralish red lippy, but I like it. Uh, but like I said, I understand everyone is not going to go through all this work to make a, you know, a lipstick work for them. Hey, you do you, you do what works for you. I just know I got way too many dang on lipsticks and not to find a way to make them work for me. Because I'm a, a lip addict, okay? Yeah. Too many. Too many lip products. And I probably got enough to last me for this lifetime, in all honesty. Yeah. Okay? So, you guys, that, in all honesty, that concluded all my lip, my lip mixtures. Alright? I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching this video. I enjoyed making this video for you guys. If y'all have any questions, comments, or concerns, you know what to do. Leave them below, and your girl will get back to you. Thanks for watching, and thanks for your support, guys. Talk to you in the next video. Bye!